Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. Both A and B are positive. Their summation equals 2. Would you like to prove that 1 over A plus 1 plus 1 over B plus 1 is not smaller than 2 over A plus 3 plus 2 over B plus 3? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. The form of the conclusion to be proved is slightly unnecessarily complicated. We can simplify it a little bit before we get to the real proof process. This simplification is not necessarily essential to the proof process, but it usually helps to find a clear way to do it. We use two new variables, x and y, where x equals a plus 1 and y equals b plus 1. So now, both x and y are bigger than 1. And their summation is 4. The conclusion to be proved becomes that, 1 over x plus 1 over y is not smaller than 2 over x plus 2, plus 2 over y plus 2. Slightly simpler. In fact, it is not very difficult to prove this conclusion by using a straightforward calculation, but the process of proving it with the help of the relationship between the harmonic mean and the arithmetic mean will be more beautiful. Let's illustrate both ways. First, let's do it by using the straightforward calculation. We put together all terms that contain x, and put together all terms that contain y as well. And we transform the original question into the comparison between the following two functions. The calculation is easy, and it becomes a comparison of those two fractions. Since x plus y equals 4, the two numerators are in fact equal. And there are only two possibilities. x is not smaller than y, and x is not bigger than y. Of course, their arithmetic mean 2 must be in between of them. For the first possibility, where x is not smaller than y. In this case, the numerator is not bigger than 0. The denominator on the left side is not smaller than that on the right side. And they are both positive. The fractions are non-positive. The larger the denominator, the smaller the absolute value, and the larger the non-positive fraction itself. For the second possibility, where x is not bigger than y. In this case, the numerator is not smaller than 0. The denominator on the left side is not bigger than that on the right side. And they are still both positive. The fractions are non-negative. The larger the denominator, the smaller the absolute value, and the smaller the non-negative fraction itself. So the conclusions are the same in both cases. In the following, we will prove it in a more beautiful way by using the relations between the harmonic mean and the arithmetic mean. First let's recall the comparison. The harmonic mean of two positive numbers is not bigger than their geometric mean. Further not bigger than their arithmetic mean. In fact, a more complete statement is that, they are not bigger than their quadratic mean. But the quadratic mean is totally useless in this question, so we won't discuss it here. In fact, the purpose of mentioning the geometric mean is merely to help us to better recall the proof process of this conclusion. Let's first recall the proof process of the latter part, the geometric mean is not bigger than the arithmetic mean. Let's calculate x plus y minus twice of the square root of x times y. It is actually the square of the difference between the square root of x and the square root of y. So it cannot be smaller than zero. Then let's recall the proof process of the former part. The harmonic mean is not bigger than the geometric mean. The harmonic mean can be written down as twice x times y over x plus y, which is actually the ratio of their geometric mean to the arithmetic mean, and then multiplied by the geometric mean again. We have just proved that, the ratio of their geometric mean to the arithmetic mean cannot be bigger than 1. So this result cannot be bigger than the geometric mean. As we mentioned, Considering the geometric mean here is all about helping us recall the proof process of these relations. Regarding this question, there is absolutely no need to consider it. Then, how to take use of the conclusion that, the harmonic mean is not bigger than the arithmetic mean. We start with the right half of the conclusion to be proved. Note that the 2 here is actually the arithmetic mean of x and y. So we can replace the 2 in the denominator with the arithmetic mean of x and y. Of course, the two terms in the denominator also have their own reciprocals. For example, x is the reciprocal of 1 over x. Therefore, each term here is also a harmonic mean. Using the relationship between harmonic mean and arithmetic mean, we can get that, 
they are not bigger than their respective arithmetic means. And now, the second term in each numerator is also in the form of the harmonic mean, which is still not bigger than their respective arithmetic mean. Further simplify the forms, and we get exactly the left half of the conclusion to be proved. So this proof process is really more beautiful. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.